why this bird could be a threat to international security. <laughs> Not even Dr. Seuss on oh Adderall in a deadline could cook up a bigger threat to national security than this bird. Oh Owls are like real life cryptids. Avian aliens that Facts. overslept and missed their return flight home. If Facts. cameras weren't real and you'd never seen one, you would not believe this bird existed on the same planet. Facts. And that's all the intro we need because we can start right here with they an owl ears. giving you a backstage VIP pass huh? to its eyes. Huh? Owls that's have ears and no. They're not here, but on the sides of its face with feathers covering it like a comb over covering a bald spot. Call it out. Zabby, appreciate the 10 gifted. Give us that karate chop. Hey, y'all. I'm your sexy ninja. Zabby. Alpecia. I can't tell you how many licks to get to a Tootsie Pops G spot, but it takes two fingers to get to a Hoot Ninja's control center. And speaking of oh, seeing, that's another thing. Owls don't have so eyeballs, good. more like eye tubes that can't move and are locked huh? in their sockets. Which is how a bird already associated with death can be on straight it's, exorcist oh, time, it's, that's able how to turn their heads 270 oh, okay. degrees without divorcing their skulls to Antoinette way, thanks to special blood vessels in the neck. And the only reason they even have to do all that is because as creatures of the night, they have giant eyes to catch enough light to see. Think okay. of the chronically perked out primate the Tarsier. But owls also have small skulls, so having eyes built like rods is the only way they can fit. Owl That's eyes so are huge. For reference, if human eyes were proportionally the same, we'd be walking around with glimpse globes the size of grapefruits. I really no. can't stress how much of a cheat code those are. Some, like the Oriental Bay, Demo can see with their huge. eyes closed. Those what? eyes might be the biggest self-report that owls aren't from this earth. Quite possibly literally. You can tell a lot about a person from their eyes, and the same goes for owls, but with their color. I did say creature of the night, but not all of them are not colored. Bro, they oh, don't, they don't look real. Orange means they're probably crepuscular, and if eyes are windows to the soul, black eyes tell you no one's been home for a minute. Yep. But also that they're nocturnal and darkness really is their domain. But then, you have this. If what you the ventured on the trip the? side of the internet, you definitely no. know about Mothman, a humanoid oh, okay. demon spawn with two eyes apparently redder than any red you've ever seen. Say. Well, if you thought I was being cute about the cryptid stuff, this is the Stygian Owl of South America, oh, is this named real? after the River of Sticks oh, that the souls God. of the dead would have to travel to get to the underworld of Hades, according to Greek mythos. Their eyes are naturally yellow, but the special tissue for night vision behind its retina causes it to reflect red under artificial light. And between that and the pseudo horns, you can kind of see how the mix-up might have happened. There's also the infamous Flatwoods Monster with free real estate in West Virginia folklore, which might have just been a barn owl from a really unfortunate angle, which is also understandable. But those that know about barn owls, and if you don't, you will in this video, right. barn owls are a different kind of freaky. Yo, most what owls just throw that's not alive anymore. Rat. Ornamegalonyx was a giant ancient Cuban predator of a bird believed to have stood at up to three oh, feet hell seven nah. inches tall. It was such a unit that the first hell scientist to nah. see its bones thought it was a type of terror bird before it was later classified as an owl. But terror bird doesn't have to be a name to be a lifestyle. Look at them things. But I'm gonna take Look at them things, bro. bro. I'm gonna take your Oh eye my out. God, what up, kitty? Oh my God, look at them freaking things, bro. Jeez. The ambush predators that would have airdropped you to the afterlife with bone crushing talons. It's also believed they would have murked prey as big as modern no, day black no, no, bears. No, 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 as big no, as they no, are, okay. they probably spent most of their time on the ground and only took flight when fight was off the table. Basically acting like turkeys. Sounds like no big deal until you remember how <laughs> on timing turkeys can be. But like Fidel, the op of Cuba has long been past tensed, but today there's over oh. 250 flavors of hoop men populating the earth. Obviously way too many for me to describe them all. So I'm gonna just run through my favorites. Okay. Speaking this is the around. largest owl in the world, the Blakenson's fish owl, and How they big? earned a distinction off a mostly pescatarian diet. Clearly okay. cut from the same cloth as his decommissioned Cuban cousin. Like and then you have the owl just bigger than a Coke can with less gravity than a golf ball, the elf owl. But that doesn't stop this undersized Muppet from being a menace of scorpions, oh no, gotta get among his. other things. This is a great horned, also called a tiger owl, but not mm -hmm. because of their colorway, but because they're like nature said f it and gave an apex predator wings. I'm gonna get to them later, but just know, Damn, this aggro tweety up. is to other owls what orcas are to the cetacean race. Oh. There's my personal favorite, the Snowy Owl, a battle-tested survivalist able to live in one of the most unlivable places on Earth. But they're also proof that white Air Force energy can be just as much of a yeah. headache. There's a solid no and a spectacled owl, which are cute enough to make me rethink the entire narrative of this video. There's a Eurasian Eagle Owl, whose run puts that same narrative on life support. And who I'm only thinking of now because of the one named Flacco I saw at the Central Park Zoo, before he escaped and became a regular Manhattan resident. That is, until he hit a building and was diagnosed with death, R.I.P. Okay. Flacco. And here we have the powerful owl, and yes, that's its Honest to Abe name. It's another one with a Jurassic pedicure, which means it can take down some of the biggest prey of any. Is that a monkey? It's an owl that copied the uh, hawk's homework and changed some of the. It means it can take down some of the biggest prey of any owl. Of... It's an owl that copied the hawk's homework and changed some. Owls, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie.
Look, you can see that this whole video was filmed live on Twitch, so you know you've been missing out. There's a whole bunch of stuff that happened that don't go in the video that's off the YouTube uploads that happens on the live stream. So come on, follow us on Twitch at Internet City Arcade. Come to the stream. We're streaming heavy. We're not just streaming on the days where we go live on YouTube first. So come on, follow the Twitch. We only go live on YouTube on select days just to promo and stuff. So, you know, hit the follow button. Either Twitch, Internet City Arcade on Twitch or link in the description. However you want to do it. Come on. I'll never forget this to the day I die. You saw an owl in Atlanta. In the window of our house. In the window. They, like left, the the window? they oh. left the window open. Oh, no. They left it because they were like washing dishes or something. Oh, no. And they left the window open to let it air out. And I'll never forget... Uh, it was like in the middle of the night. My mom said, "Oh, I forgot. Go, uh, go close, the go window. close the window." <laughs> that owl. I walked in there. I <laughs> walked in there. Luckily, the window was small enough a n couldn't fit through. But it was an owl just in that bitch looking. I'm talking OVO, just <laughs> <laughs> like that, like this right here. Hey, bro, I was like, I went back. <laughs> hey, little boy. <laughs> I went back. I, I got my. A I was boy. like, I was like, ma, something in the window. She was like, ain't nothing in the window. Go close. I said, ma, something in the window. She's like, something, something ain't in that window. I'm gonna whoop you. I said, okay. She walking in there. Oh, something in the window. <laughs> 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 bro, they hit that with the broom. Right? He didn't move. That was all. That was like hanging like this. <laughs> Outside the window, and my mom was like, "Let go! I'm a closing on your feet." That ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "All right, bro." He down there did live a nightmare, <laughs> bro. It uh, was terrible. My childhood was terrible. Had, had uh, crackheads in the door and the window, <laughs> and out in the window. The shootouts, boy. It was rough. Some of the answers, and with a name like I Dragon. haven't told you about the shootout. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, so Pete. Save, save it, save right, it, save it, save it. You can probably guess where it's based. In fact, I don't even think I really need to Australia. With owls seasoning <laughs> every place on Earth that isn't Antarctica, owls obviously have different looks, but also different sounds. Right. Whoever told you they only hoot lied more than an underage owl. And while hanging with owls is usually a hootin' nanny, if your neighbors would caterwauling barred owls, you'll wake up to the set of Planet of the Apes. They're not all bad. The Western Screech Owl sounds like a fumbled ping pong ball. And you can't tell oh. me the Eastern Screech doesn't give Kentucky Derby. But you won't find an outburst that's more to blame for mental anguish than the banshee-coated barn owl. Oh no, that's creepy. I keep trying to tell you. He, he, he won't let me go. He won't let me go. Help! Stop it. He look at the camera he's like, stop looking at me. Help! Look at him. There's something about barn owls. Sound might arguably be the most unsettling oh! thing about them. And I'm not talking about the Bro, that look like an alien. You definitely know that owls have better hearing than a mom after you close a door a decibel above what's acceptable. Yep. But you might not know just how far nature went to give them the advantage. Those two ears we talked about aren't symmetrical. The left ear is usually lower than the right, which means okay. an owl on the prowl can pinpoint exactly where a noise came from based on what ear detects it first. If it hits the left first, then the owl can be sure it came from below. Oh. Owls also have faces built like satellite dishes. Or yep. I guess technically the dishes look like owls. Either way, it's collected sound and funnels it towards the ears. The wildest variant of this build is the, the great the gray owl that honestly looks so like weird, it got its bro. business punched in by nature. They have the biggest facial disc of any owl, meaning you can hide under two feet of snow and ice and still get got by a gray. They'll ah. even blindly nosedive into the snow just like the arctic fox because same test, same solution. That's convergent evolution. Owls also figured out how to rearrange their feathers to change the shape of their disc, meaning they can basically shape shift. Depending on the situation, owls can make themselves look bigger when threatened, or the changeling will do the opposite, either for camouflage or for the what the fuck factor. You see what I mean when I say no other animal has contributed more to cryptid culture. Imagine yeah, being the first person to see this IRL. But I'm not done. There's one more supernatural Facts. ability owls have that might just be the most OP of all, and it's also because of their feathers. An experiment by BBC Earth took okay. three birds and had them fly from one researcher to another with several highly sensitive microphones to pick up even the slightest noise. Oh, there's no the sound. <laughs> This, yeah, no I remember this test. to anyone who's lived near them. Next was the fastest bird alive, the peregrine falcon. Again, pretty standard mm -hmm. stuff. The but then came the barn now. owl, and this is why I called them hoot ninjas no earlier. Sound. All right, can't even hear them. 
Pigeons are social birds that also get put in a bucket by multiple birds of prey. So their takeoff sound is like an alarm call to the rest of the flock. So if one pigeon goes, you know the rest will follow. The crested pigeon even evolved their own form of a ringtone. Then there's a pigeon paralysis demon, the falcon. And since they put all their evolution points into speed, they don't have to worry about the sound they make, just one shotting their prey into the next world. But with owls, they have modified flight feathers that makes it a living lethal weapon with a silencer. There is one important That look like the one that was in my window. This up had a different color eyes. Damn. They were yellow. I'll never get that. That nigga said, ah! <laughs> I'm all good. I'm closing on your feet. That nigga said, ah! Nigga, you know what this, That nigga was hanging from the window. <laughs> <laughs> nigga looking at the sky. Oh, my you man. know what to do, bro. <laughs> you know what to do, I'm like, What the hell happened? <laughs> I'm like, nigga, drop. Let go, nigga. <laughs> now, granted, I understand I'm not letting go because the back of the house was pitch black. Therefore, you can see. Oh, you're right. He can he see. He would have been able to see the ground not that far from he him. He can see it. Yeah. That nigga did not want to let go, bro. <laughs> that nigga tried to make an excuse for the owl that's not turtle. That nigga, you're right. I ain't even uh, think about that. That nigga, uh, just, that nigga just was on that bitch, chilling, looking at the sky. <laughs> It was like, oh, nice stars. I'm like, oh, good. So, a sweetie sold its soul for a built-in muffler, and it cost a waterproof oil coating on their feathers. That's how the steely-eyed gatekeeper of the night turns into an alcoholic muppet with bad water. <laughs> this might be the most damning evidence uh. for the alien allegation. 70% of the earth is water. If this is what 70% of the world does to you, I have to assume you're not from it. And once owls get too wet, True. they can't fly. And clearly oh. they didn't read the terms of service because they do not look happy about it. I'd say it's a fair trade, though, because a flight-happy dinosaur on silent mode with night vision and God tier hearing yep. equipment might be one of the most conceptually terrifying things to be hunted by. They Max. say getting gripped by an owl feels a lot like getting caught in the jaws of a German oh. shepherd. Getting disqualified from life by an owl usually means getting crushed to death. If the prey is too big, they'll just dismember it. Since owls like to eat their prey head first, that usually means decapitation. So if you oh. ever see an animal that's physically lost its mind, you can be sure an owl somewhere ate good. Owls will also surplus kill. A picture was taken of a snowy owl pantry with wow. about 70 dead lemmings wow. arranged like a wreath. And there's even a story of scientists finding an owl nest with 70 plus cat collars, although I personally don't believe that one. But the avian assassin is for sure one of the most oh. underrated predators in nature. Yeah, we're not about to skip past an owl snatching a hawk in its own crib. You see, there's birds of prey and the ones birds prey about, and owls are definitely the latter. Owls will regularly grief other birds of prey like this beheaded red-tailed hawk or this young cooper hawk. I mean, it makes sense and you nocturnal, you come in a nest at night, mink, mink. Can you imagine all, all your catch is sleeping. Mink, 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 mink. Come here. Put it in a nest. Mink, mink. He probably hunt all night. Rack him up. Wake up shit. like, ha, ha, tight shit. Nigga birds. As you've seen, they'll use the cover of darkness to commit <laughs> hidden flies on yep. families like hidden the fly. and Falcons. And it's not always about a meal. Sometimes it's about sending a message. <laughs> Owls don't usually build their own nest. And this homicidal air oh. mine has been seen attacking bald eagles in an attempt to hijack theirs. Eagles. But owls also don't believe in squatters rights, so God help the catcher that try to use their own strat against them. Owls are honestly what would happen if you gave honey back to Jesus. Red They're definitely one of those f around and find out animals, but there is one bird owls have generational beef with. Owls and crows have one of the most infamous oh, yeah, rivalries in nature, and fuck it's because owls will kill without prejudice, and often that includes crows. But crows are also highly intelligent, and arguably the smartest birds on earth, but more importantly, they have the capacity to hold grudges and seek revenge. So crows will mob any owls caught oh, in no. the they, they, they got they got numbers the though. Bird of prey using the OP power of friendship. Oh. It's how the same predator that can <laughs> check out. <laughs> they jump in that nigga. I'm gonna get that nigga cuz! They jump in that nigga. Hit first. Hit, hit him. <laughs> make, 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 make. <laughs> They yelling, bro. You gotta look at him, bro. Like, the hit this nigga, bro. Why are you scared? I ain't scared. It's how the same predator that can check Falcon's <laughs> look, hogs. They all like, who gonna hit him first? You, you do it, Mike. Aaron, similar. <laughs> true, not true, do it. Even eagles can get railroaded by a murder of crows. The beef is so ingrained that crows that have never even seen an owl will instinctively choose oh. violence, and owls will take out any single lone crows they can. And I know I've been saying crows, but ravens aren't exactly fans either, especially when an owl can but change its Facebook status to nevermore. There's another oh. bird of prey this flying deratio has major problems with. Each other. Owls regularly hunt and kill other owls, and the two main suspects, the great horned owl from before. That's exactly what was in the window. 
<laughs> that nigga, that nigga was just in that bitch cooling. And the barred owl. Barred owls are pretty competent predators on their own, and often they get victimized by the flying yeah, tiger. Like, like it's technically not cannibalism the same way a leopard eating a cheetah or a red fox flatlining its arctic cousin isn't. It still right. feels wrong as hell. The yeah, barred owl can be a different kind of problem, which is why the U.S. government has been trying to pass a bill to mark 400,000 of them. Yo! If that sounds OD, it's because the flying invasive garbage disposal eats literally everything. Let's to the point where they've been outcompeting the native spotted owl into near oblivion. The crazy thing is, life retiring 400,000 would barely put a dent in their population. I didn't even know it was that many owls, bro. Let's kill them, bro. I that was in the what the Midwest. That's why. That's why we got owls out here, but they're not like. You know what I'm saying? They're not like all the other birds when we see all the bro. fucking time. The owl didn't traumatize me. That nigga, I was just, I was, it was just, funny as hell. Owls will also run fades with deer. No, and they're shot. not afraid to press other land predators. Oh, damn, country, like coyotes. Snowy owls are a special kind of trigger happy since they have to compensate for having their nests on the ground. The result is the biggest crash out of the owls choosing fight like and flight with a whole wolf. There have even been reports of them dive bombing polar bears that wander too close. Huh? For all their talents, there aren't really any documented cases of an owl putting a person in the coffin. That is, unless you believe the staircase oh, no. owl theory. Oh, in no. 2003, Michael Peterson was convicted of murdering his wife Kathleen in their home in North Carolina. And according to the autopsy report, the cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. But okay. there's been legitimate theories that it was actually a barred owl that attacked her and caused her to fall down the stairs. The theory gained more traction when it was revealed that feathers were later found in her hair and that oh. the lacerations on her head were pretty consistent with getting mauled by an owl. Now, full disclosure, I'm not really that informed on the case, but even I thought that was a stretch. But crazier things have happened. Let me remind you that the entire world thought Lindy Chamberlain was guilty. The whole time a dingo really did eat her baby. We might never know for sure, oh. but there's a reality where a man served hard time for a crime an owl committed. Now, you might come away from this video I mean, thinking you never that know. Type of negative about owls. Quite the opposite. I've gained a whole new respect for these birds. For one, they're free pest control. Just one barn owl family can eat. I'm gonna win without saying that. Like, like, <laughs> hey, you need that one. Hey, he ain't need it that. It was a rat, bro. That, Fuck that, that nigga rats, head. Man. That nigga head and tail. Let that nigga about it. They go back and like back. <laughs> Hey, go on, <laughs> thousand rodents in a season. Speaking Wait, of the barn, free pest control. Just one barn owl family can eat a thousand rodents in a season. Damn. Speaking of the barn owl, they're monogamous, and not only will they often mate for life, they'll oh, often return oh, to the same nest oh, year after year. Whoa, get a room, get a room. Whoa! That kind of longevity without reinforcing your bond and the owl equivalent of a vow renewal is what you're seeing right here called billing. That and a good intimate preening session. And while hey. there's still wild animals that really aren't meant to be pets, the ones rescued by humans can often end up imprinting on them. The result makes depression here boss music. And even though they're often associated with dark and death, in Japan they're often seen as a sign of good fortune. Moral of the story, so creepy, owls aren't man. harbingers of doom. They're not the feathery antichrist. Nah, owls are just the cats of birds. And I honestly love that for them. But that's gonna do it for this video. That makes I'm not sense. kidding when I say I hyper fixated on owls for a couple sense. of weeks so much that I'm actually planning a trip to a raptor trust near me. If this video gets 130,000 likes, I'll share some pictures and videos with y'all. And don't worry, I didn't forget about the promise I made here CJ because y'all really video. demolished last video's light goal. Like for real, I did not think y'all would do it that fast. And because I'm a man of my word, I will be visiting an elephant sanctuary sometime this summer and recording it for y'all. I do want to make sure I'm supporting a legitimate place. So if anyone has any experience with them and can recommend any ethical ones, feel free to comment. Oh, yeah, Bro, bro, these animals, bro, these rhinos. I'm pretty this sure nigga, most bro. of y'all done been to the zoo. You still ain't been to the zoo yet, right? I've been to the zoo. Been to the zoo. To the, nigga. CJ dropped the video. Shout out these to CJ. fucking elephants and rhinos and shit yeah, that nigga are Mike, so fucking big. That nigga Mike went on a whole binge at one point about the size of animals. God, nigga. Jesus. Man, they're so large. It's scary.